So on the other website, when I go, name of the web page is material selection chart. So I just copy that bit. I go back and I put there. Uh, no, not there. Here. Now I need to find out the year it was published. So I need to go back sometime. Finding the year is not as easy. So if if you look here, it says 2002. So it's last updated in 2002. So I'm just going to that 2002. I'm just going to copy this bit and just put there. So so 2002. Now I still need to find the author. So author, I need to go back to that bit. Now go back. Material selection charts are from University of Plymouth, uh, University of Cambridge. Sorry, can't find any author name at the. But so this is a corporate author. Yep. Okay. Now corporate author is going to be University of Cambridge. So I'm just going to go there, and I will type. University of Cambridge and then I click on the corporate author and then I press OK so it will appear. Now what is all these points of doing all these references? When you do all the references in the very end of your assignment you click for example you finish writing your assignment you click here bibliography and then you click on this reference all these reference will appear. Yeah. So you can see all the reference appears automatically. For example, later on, you added another reference. When you added another reference, what will actually happen? You just click here and update the citation. Now, one other thing why we use this Microsoft Office is the layout. For example, let's say I did all this. This is my introduction. When you click on introduction, uh, let's say you you go on uh, home, select as a heading one. Let's say it's introduction. You go heading one. Yeah. So you click on heading one. Yeah. Now you go background. That's still a heading one. Same level. Fishing gear. Let's say is you click on that's heading one. Material used in fishing gear. Let's say that's your still heading one. And then you have three different type of material. Let's say it's material. A, material, B, material, C, for example. Now, material A is a subheading of that one, so you can do that one as heading 2, heading 2, heading 2. Yep. And then properties of material, let's say heading 1, and so on. Once you've done all these bits, you go back to the page after the title page or just click just before the introduction yeah and then you go go on reference go on reference and then on this side it says table of content you click on table of content and then you how you like your table of content i like that way so i click on here so you can see all the content are automatically generated these are already hyperlinked into uh, the assignment so for example I want to make some changes on material C I will press control and I <coughs> click it take me to the material C automatically yeah. I want to go back here for some reason let's say when I it tell you which page number is it introduction is that page that page you can also add the page number go to insert here go to page number I like page at the bottom of the page so uh, page number uh, come on bottom ah, come on. why it's doing that one okay well some reason because I got the screen uh, recorder that's not working so I can sh get that one uh, page number there for example let's say I, I made some changes later on yeah I made some changes and I moved that one introduction was on page number one this thing is not considered the page number the title page is not in the page number at all. So introduction was on page number one, but now I just added some of the bits and now it's on page number five, six or seven. So you just go here, you just click on update the table. 
update page number only and you see they all change yeah now some for some time for example um, let's say I want to put uh, a subheading of introductions so I have added some more headings so let's say that's a heading two and that's another heading two so about this about that I just put that one and now I want to put that here so you just go update and update the entire table and you will get another two subheadings there so this makes your life a lot easier and much more you can you can just lay out your assignment a lot better yep okay I'm just going to